everybody. John here with DT and Dan with Sandler Training. Hello. I almost said John here with Sandler Training. That would be interesting. Yeah, yeah, it would. That would be scary. So I want to talk scary. a little bit about, <laughs> wow. I want to talk a little bit about enabling your salespeople. And, and I think sometimes if you're leading a team, we have a tendency to hold them back somewhat and not let them grow and, and work through growing pains and work through things that don't go well. And the more though you enable them, the faster they tend to pick things up. Yeah, they're going to stumble, so you need to help them with that coping side. But they're not always going to look for, all right, I didn't know what to do with that, so I stayed away from it, but now help me with what to do with that when I see it again. They try and address it in the circumstance, in the moment, and make the best of it. Use their gut, use their intuition, and make decisions. And sometimes we're going to fall flat, no doubt. True. But other times we're going to have great learnings, and we're going to really grow and adapt, and we're going to capture some opportunities we otherwise would have lost. So can you talk about ways to better enable your sales team, get them functioning more in a self-sufficient manner, knowing you're there if they need you, but go do. <laughs> where I see this happen a lot is usually amid the large companies. Yes. Where the CEO or the executive or the sales manager or whatever is carbon copied on every yep. email that goes out. Why? Why, why, are, why are we doing that to ourselves? What, because I need to know what's going on? <laughs> if it's important, I'll know, right? Yeah. So, so allow people to make mistakes. Yep. Allow people to grow. That's what our kids do growing up. Yeah. They make mistakes and we were there to help and support them and hopefully push them out of the door when they're 18 and they're on their own. Why aren't we doing that with our people that work for us? And in particular, our salespeople. Salespeople are, are they're known for saying, hey, boss, how do I do this? How do I handle this? And then we tell them because that makes us feel important. We get our needs yep. met. Yep. And then they go out and do that. But we're not teaching them to be self-sustaining. Yes. And so if someone says, hey, boss, how should I respond to this? Do what you feel is best. And then if it doesn't work, let's talk about it. And if it does work, let's talk about it. But quit feeding them everything. Make them become self-sufficient. I'll share this one example. There's a hotel chain that has given every employee in that hotel up to $2,000 to fix a problem. Oh well. Okay. So a janitor could be walking around and a person says, hey, my heater is broken and the janitor could go look at that heater and it needs to be replaced and it's $1,000. He doesn't have to bounce that up a chain. He just makes that decision yep. and it's done. Yep. And, and so customer service goes high as a result of that. So maybe we need to employ or have our employees be able to make those decisions a lot quicker. Yeah, what you first described is kind of that classic, you know, fish form, teach them how to fish mentality. Right, that's a good way to look at um, it. And but the other side, when, when I love the example of the hotel, because when you embolden people to make those decisions, they also feel much more part of the organization. They don't feel like they're just a cog. They feel like they're part of it. They can be impactful and they can change things in the moment. And so I think they're much more engaged and they're a better representation of what you want in a firm. I totally agree. So, Here's the problem. A lot of people in executive management, ownership, whatever. Yep. We get our needs met because people come to us for help. <laughs> the control side. Yeah. <laughs> the absolutely. reality is what should we be spending most of our time on if we're executives? It's strategic planning. It's thinking. It's not helping people with their problems yes. and issues. So That's what empower you them. Bingo. Exactly. Empower them. They might actually surprise you. Often. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.